Hello guys, in this video I want to help someone found their startup on Laracast and also explain to you how to run queries with two level deep relationships and what are the actual SQL queries under the hood. So the situation, there's a user which has many listings and each listing may have multiple responses and the task is to calculate user with the amount of responses per user. These are the models, so listing has many responses, and each response belongs to a listing. And then one of the Laracast's superstars on the forum, Nakov, suggested to load users with listing and then add with count. And then, as the result of that, you can have user listings sum of responses count. And let's try to simulate that and see what actual SQL queries are run under the hood. And I will suggest another version of that by using has many through. Let's dive into the example. And I will simulate that situation by creating a new project in our quick admin panel to demonstrate to you that quick admin panel project wasn't only created for admin panels, but also I use it personally for quickly generating the structure, database models, table of users, for example, and stuff like that. So I will go for a new project and I will quickly create that. But if you don't want to see how it is done in Quick Admin Panel, you can scroll to the timestamp that you can see on the screen now or click in the description below. There are timestamps to see the final results of the models and you can start from there. But in Quick Admin Panel, you can create, for example, let's choose the oldest jQuery version. Let's call the project listings. We create and users will be there by default. So all we need to create is listings and then responses. So we create a new CRUD called listings. I don't know what the fields are there. So let's just give it a name. So text field of name of listing, and then we need a belongs to relationship to user. So we create a field belongs to relationship user, and we choose the model to belong to, which is user. We save and save CRUD. So this is how I create the listings. And then same fashion, create CRUD menu item. So Let's create listing responses, for example, and we need two fields. For example, let's call it response as a text field, and then we need a belongs to relationship to the listing. So belongs to relationship, let's call it listing, and the CRUD listings. Save, we save the CRUD, and now we have the database structure that we need. And then I will download the code and in the users table, we will add another column of number of responses. We can meanwhile preview the panel, which will install the panel on our servers quickly by running composer install and migration and stuff like that. So here it is done in like 15 seconds or so, and we can log in. And in the user management users, this is the table. So to that table, I will add in the downloaded code, another column of amount of listings, or sorry, amount of responses to those listings. So I download the code, download full code, and I will install it locally according to those instructions, which are really similar to any Laravel project. So let's dive into the terminal and PHP Storm locally. So here I am in my local project installed and added a few listings. So there are three users, admin as by default, so two new users, then some random listings to random users and some random responses, so five responses, and only now I noticed that I made a typo response, but that doesn't really matter in this case. And then in the models, I've added two relationships, so here's how user controller looks like. So we load users with roles, and in here we will add the exact condition that we need, and in the user model we have listings has many, and in the listing model we have responses has many. So let's first try the solution by Nakov, with listings and with count for responses. So we add that to our query in the controller. In addition to roles, let's add something like this. So with listings and with count responses, great. And then in the table of index blade of users index, we add another column of responses amount. Let's use it without translations for simplicity. So responses. And then we add that to the TD of this one, user listings, responses count. And of course, it should be not responses count, but some of the responses count for every listing. So this is the result. And let's see how the user's table looks now. 
and we have the exact number, responses 2 and 3, so it actually works. But also I see a bit of a problem here. We are loading listings here, although we don't actually need those listings anywhere in the table. So if we install, and this is by the way the installation of the project, composer install, php artisan migrate, let's install composer require barry vdh laravel debug bar and see what actual queries are running under the hood. Okay, the package is installed. Now let's just refresh the page and at the bottom we should have queries and the query that we're interested in is this one. So select all listings, select count of listing responses where users are in one, two, three. It uses eager loading, but it loads the listings with all the fields, although we actually don't really need them. So I would suggest to improve that by doing two things. First, in the user model, add a relationship has many through. So public function responses. So I remind you listings is the has many and responses is one level deep, which is return this has many through related of listing response or listing response. I made a typo again like this via another model or through another model listing listing class and then we can use responses directly in the controller without loading listings and doing just with count like this with count responses it should work and then we have responses count directly in the index blade available to us without listings and we don't need the sum here user responses count like this let's try it out does it work refresh the page and it did work the numbers are the same but the query should be different as you can see the query is one query not querying the listings separately select users and then subquery on listing responses only and selecting count only. We are joining listings, yes, but we don't take that into memory. So listings list will not take the RAM memory and will query from the database only exactly that we need, which is count of responses. So in general, if you have two level deep relationship and you need only the number, this is my preferred way to have has many through and load only with count here because that is exactly what you need. If you want more tips like this one on performance of Eloquent, one of my courses is actually called Better Eloquent Performance here. So I've shared quite a lot of tips like this one in that course. You may check that out or subscribe to yearly membership to get all of my courses and the ones that I will release a year ahead. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.